then Gordy and Gorilla woke up so excited because they had planned to go to the beach. Mommy and Daddy and baby Melody, who wasn't really a baby anymore because she was one and a half. She was a toddler. She would walk tippy-tippy this way, that way, and sometimes fall. But she was a lot of fun to have around. Gordy was so excited because they were going to the beach and he was sure he would find the nicest treasures he could have ever found. In his mind, he imagined that he was finding a fancy swirl shell and a long skinny rock that he could paint as a carrot. And he was imagining he would find a stone that was full of little bumpy holes. Gordy ran downstairs, ate breakfast so fast, said good morning, said good morning to mommy and daddy and baby Melody, and they got dressed, ready to go. Mommy said they would go before lunch, so they could be back and do other things later. They all got their stuff ready, and off they went. It was nice and sunny, the wind was blowing on their face. Not too much wind, just a little bit. And in the air, Gordy could smell fish, stinky fish. Ha, said Gordy, it stinks today. It must be the fish on the sand. Mommy said, yes, I know it is stinky, isn't it? Yep, sometimes on very warm days, the, cell of the smell of the sea actually smells like dead fish. And if we go to the sea, You'll see that there's lots of clam shells that are empty and dead um, pieces of crabs and those kind of things and maybe dried up seaweed. All of that, when it gets hot, it stinks. So that's why it's a little bit stinky today, but it's not too bad. Gordy was thinking how stinky it was and what he really didn't want to touch the stones if they were smelling like this. When they got to the beach, Gordy was excited and looked around. The first thing he found was a beautiful swirly shell. My treasure, he said. I found the first treasure. He put it in his bag and carried on looking. And he found a rock that was shaped long and narrow and it would look like a carrot if he would paint it um, orange. Now Gordy had a plan to paint it orange and pretend that it was a real carrot and sneak it into the fridge sometime to trick mommy and daddy. Then he thought when they go and grab the carrot they'll think it's a real carrot and if they try to bite it it'll be hard. But Gordy knew that Mommy and Daddy, when they picked up the carrot, they would probably know it wasn't real because stones are a lot heavier than carrots. Maybe he'll find a little stone. Maybe. Gordy kept looking and put all the stones in the bag that he wanted to keep. Baby Melody was going through the sand with her little bucket and shovel and just digging holes everywhere. She thought that was fun, but Gordy thought picking up stones to paint and shells to look at was even more fun than digging holes. When he got home, Gordy snuck out his paints where Mommy and Daddy couldn't see and painted the stone orangey with little rings around it and some little white hairs going this way and that way as if the carrot was starting to sprout. Hmm, said Gordy, but it doesn't have a green top. But I guess some of the carrots in our fridge don't have green tops either, so it's okay like okay, this. Let's paint the top green. I'll just put a little few dots on the top uh, to make it look like it used to have a green top and we've taken it off. Maybe Gordy should do a little bit of gray and some different shades of green. Maybe he'll find the green. Nope, he liked it the way it was. Gordy snuck it into the fridge and no one was looking. The next thing Mommy wanted to do was cut up a carrot for baby Melody to chew on. Oh, 
Ari said, now is the time. Guess what happened? Mommy opened the fridge and grabbed the carrot and said, oh my word, what is this? Gordy laughed and he said, I made a carrot. Yes, and carrot stones don't belong in the fridge, do they? No. No, I was trying to trick you, said Gordy. Well, you almost did, said Mommy. Come on, take this out to the garden. Why don't you go trick the birds? Leave that carrot outside near our garden. Then when they go and peck it, they'll find out that carrots are not good to eat when they're stones. Maybe it'll keep them away from eating our real carrots. That's a good idea, said Gordy, and that's carrot exactly scarecrow. what he did. Yeah, a carrot scarecrow. <laughs> a fake carrot to break <laughs> the bird's teeth. Do birds have teeth? They have beaks. Yeah, they just have beaks. And that was Gordy's stone adventure. He saved the other treasures that he had got from the beach to do things with another time, to do more crafts with. And that 